The chairman of the LG Group, Gu Bonmu, passed away on May 20th. It is said that a person's value, merit, and contributions are revealed once the person is not with us anymore. Many Koreans feel the same sentiment about Chairman Gu. He is remembered as a very approachable, down-to-earth person, like a next-door neighbor, which doesn't match the image of a chairman of Korea's fourth-largest conglomerate. His philosophy for management was, go the right way. He is known to have said that if he had to bend the rules to become number one, he'd rather not be number one. Many other conglomerates were embroiled in internal family feuds over sharing family wealth, but LG was relatively free from that struggle. The group is thought to have higher levels of corporate governance among Korean conglomerates. According to his will, his funeral was held as a simple family event, and he chose cremation and had his ashes scattered around a tree in LG's forest in Gonjiam. Korean sentiment towards Korea's large conglomerates is pretty mixed. Advertisements of Korean companies we encounter while traveling to foreign countries may spark national pride deep in our heart. But reports about those large companies breaking the rules and monopolizing the economy give Koreans feeling of frustration and anger. Maybe that's why the passing of Chairman Gu, who took a different path, reverberates through the heart of many Koreans. Gu acted and treated others as equals in his daily life. This is not the case for other owners of large companies. So we said uh, Gu treated others as equals or to treat someone as an equal. It means that you are neither above them or below them socially or financially. Uh, you would treat someone how you would be expected to be treated. Um, there's a lot of talk about power abuse in Korean society, but if everyone treated each other with respect, that's kind of treating someone as your equal. Even though Chairman Gu was the head of a large corporation, he was humble and had an unassuming image. Um, so I said he was humble and unassuming. Uh, to be humble is uh, not an unassuming, both kind of mean to be not arrogant, not pretentious, uh, to be kind of uh, uh, kind and, again, uh, treating people as if the way you would want to be treated. LG more than quadrupled their annual revenue since Mr. Gu became chairman in 1995. Uh, so I said LG more than quadrupled. Um, so when we start multiplying numbers, uh, especially in revenue, if you have, let's say, $10, you double your revenue, you have $20. If you have $10 and triple your revenue, you have $30. Um, quadruple, you would have from 10 multiplied by 4, that's 40. Uh, but we usually stop there. Uh, the next would be to quintuple, which means you have five or more, uh, or five times. So even though it went from 30 to 160, it's about 5.3 times the revenue, we would say more than quadrupled their annual revenue. We usually stop at that multiplier of four. After Mr. Gu became chairman in 1995, he expanded the company globally and their current annual turnover is 160 trillion won. This is up 500% from 1995. Um, so if you noticed, in the first sentence, I said annual revenue. It's an expression we use in American English for total sales per year. However, the annual turnover uh, means total sales or income per year, but that's used in British English. So if you travel to the UK, Ireland, Australia, even South Africa, they will use annual turnover instead of annual revenue. LG has followed the Korean tradition of inheritance, where the eldest son is the rightful heir. The rest of the family shares ownership of the LG Corporation. The rules are set to prevent a family feud. Um, so I said uh, the eldest son is the rightful heir. The rightful heir is the person who is lawfully um, kind of given the inheritance of someone who dies or uh, who hands down something if they retire. Uh, so in this case, it's the oldest son is the rightful heir.
Um, and then the rules are set to prevent a family feud. Uh, a family feud is, uh, you know, traditionally, like we talked about Romeo and Juliet, uh, two families feuding. But you can also have an internal family feud where um, relatives start fighting with each other. Uh, they don't talk to each other anymore. Um, mostly it's over matters of money or things that were said at the holidays can cause a family feud. Chairman Ku fixed the guidelines of inheritance of his company to prevent infighting amongst his family after his death. So Chairman Ku fixed the guidelines. Um, to fix the guidelines means he set the rules in place because he knew he had a lot of money and he knew there would be fighting. So he fixed the guidelines. He made fixed rules to prevent uh, the fighting that would happen. And then I said prevent infighting. Um, infighting is when you have a, a group of people fighting within a larger group. So for example, if you have a company, the accounting department is fighting with the marketing department, that is infighting. Or even people within the department are fighting, we call that infighting. So uh, if you have a large family, some cousins are fighting with another cousin, that's what we call infighting. Mr. Gu had a modest funeral surrounded by family members. His ashes were spread in a forest outside of Seoul. Uh, so we said Mr. Gu had a very modest funeral, uh, meaning it wasn't that big, it wasn't that extravagant or nice. It was uh, very simple and humble. And then we said his ashes were spread in a forest outside of Seoul. So after uh, cremation, uh, you have your ashes that are left over. Uh, in the West, sometimes people keep those ashes uh, so you can look at them in your house. Or we spread them around somewhere like an ocean or a forest or someplace special to the person who died. Mr. Gu's funeral was not extravagant. His ashes were scattered in a forest in Gonjiam. Um, yeah, so the opposite of modest, we said, was extravagant. So his funeral was not extravagant. Extravagant would mean very expensive, very fancy, and lots of people. And um, we said his ashes were scattered. Um, so to scatter is like to spread. Uh, so we scatter the ashes in the ocean or the forest. It's almost the same thing as spreading your ashes. Thanks for downloading, guys. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.